bottom up. Oh. oh, it's literally big. I swear it's big. Oh, I'm getting bit too. Ready. Top of the world, top of the world, who running like us? Running the world, running the world, we running it up. Tearing it down, tearing it up, and running them up. Running it now, running it now, we know what we want, yeah. Destiny is pulling on my coattail. This the moment that they want it, yes, I know it will. I can see the future, no, I won't fail. Marching through the city and we raise here I can see the sun rays rise from the east Yeah, you know the vibe, I just try and get a piece Look into the sky, high five energy Yeah, we outside, living wide, living free Ooh, I feel Welcome to Shovel with us today Shut up, man, camera Yeah, you What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're headed out to the Farallon Islands to get on some massive link cod, some massive bocaccio, maybe a giant salmon shark. We got the boys with us. It's blowing. We're going. You just got to stay away from the potato patch. We'll see you out there. You and me. You and me. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. We're about to push out Bodega Bay right now. Probably an hour and a half ride, you'd say. Yeah, about. A little bit windy, says it's like 10 to 15 knots out there we're going to see, but the swell is nice. It's 3.9 every 13. We'll see when we get out of the harbor here, and hopefully we're going to get some big sharks, some big link cod. This boat is going to be full of lots of dead fish, like 100 dead fish. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're approaching 5,000 subscribers, and once that happens, we're going to take three of you guys out. We're going to randomly select a couple guys, take them out fishing with us. Maybe on some tuna, we'll see what's in the area, but we're pushing out there now, and we'll see you in a little bit. So we've been hearing a bunch of reports that there's big salmon sharks, big makos out here, so we decided to come out while we're rock fishing. Like Sean and PJ will be rock fishing. I'm opting out of rock fishing, trying to catch one of these big sharks. So we bought a bunch of salmon carcasses. We got these laundry bags. We're gonna hang those over the side for chum. As soon as we see a shark push in, I'm gonna pitch out a big old mackerel or something like that to him and see if he smokes it. It's gonna be fun. We got the first drop. I put one of these sand abs on that we caught earlier in the year on a trap rig. And uh, we'll see if I get one. We're in like, I don't know, 400 feet of water. Oh, there's one. There's one, I'm getting bit. Yep. Yep. There's one. Get him. Oh yeah, it's baby! Yes! Oh, yeah, baby. it's a link on. <laughs> I'm gonna see by oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that was hilarious, dude. I'm about this. Yeah. <laughs> cranking them in, cranking them in. Well, they sure as hell don't fight like shallow water rock fishing, but still pretty damn fun. I see color. What is it? Oh, it's a link pod. Good one. A good link pod. He has to go. No, it's not, is it? Yeah, it is. Is he keeping? Yeah, that's keeping. There we go. Well, that was the first one. It's, you know, a nice, like, 24-inch link cod. We'll take it all day. Sand dab rig. Sand dab rig. So all I'm doing, Devin has the rig, and you just show it. I just snelled a big 2 aught octopus hook on there with another 2 aught 4 x uh, trouble hook by owner, and it stuck him. Custom gas right there. Look at these handmade by yours truly, Captain Redbeard. All right, so we got a bunch of salmon carcasses we bought from someplace in Santa Rosa. And now we got albacore from our trip last year going down on the other side. I put a couple weights in here, so I'm going to drop this one down about 25 feet just so the scent's in different areas. All right, you guys, second rig we're putting down, these little shrimp flies, little piece of squid on them. Just gonna drop it down, see what bites. <laughs> Someone just drop, baby. Oh, it looks like a good one. Well, I got bit, and then I let go, I farmed it, and he let go of it. And then uh, I dropped it back down, and sure enough, as soon as I let out some line, he 
came back for it. This one feels a lot better than the last one. This one's got some weight to it. I feel like he's just getting old and tired. I am old and tired. I'm gonna do the little old and tired right here. This is old, old and tired. Just warm up for those sit on the rail and just crank. Yes, sir. Oh, there he goes. He's tugging. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might be a slug. He truly might. It be feels a slug. like he's the biggest link on a cot, though. <laughs> oh, color. Oh, he's a slug. He's a slug. Oh, he is he's big. a slug. He is big. He looks big. He looks big, yeah, for sure. But the water also does make it look giant. Oh, he's good. He's for sure good. That's a slug. Oh, there you go. Look at that link caught. There you go, Philly. There you go. That's probably one of the bigger ones I've ever caught. That's, that's a, a, a hog. That's a stud. That's a stud. Love it. Yeah. It's almost getting, man. Yeah, that's all oh, I Oh, careful. Oh, no, you're doubled up. You're Two up. nice olives. How'd it feel? You loving it? Pretty good right there. I just I'm ran the way down. Dude. Oh, he just dropped it. Sean just got bit again, but I was just on my way down and just got there pounded. Is. There he is. PJ's in another one here. Yep. Same thing as earlier. Just hit that bottom. Not two seconds later, just got pounced on. Yeah, I'll be You need a gaff? No, you got doubles again. All of doubles again. Nice olives? Yeah. Olives are easy to clean. Yeah, nut. Sheesh. So that's what we did after we went sand down fishing. We caught that crazy amount of them. And now we're dropping these down. Every time they hit the bottom, a big old wing's on it's just smoking them. So I'm gonna drop down. I got the shark rig up, so cause you can't be doing both. You can only fish one rod when you're rock fishing. So I'm keeping that up, ready to hook onto a bait and pitch out to a shark. But I'm gonna drop this down on the electric rail and get active. About to send her down. You probably don't want to go down this fast. You just my tangle, but. Yeah. Absolutely love this reel. Makes my day so much easier. I see it. Color. Color. Okay. Is that a rockfish? Rockfish. Rockfish. Canary. Ten million. No way. What is that? I don't know. The thing was slugging, bro. Look at the eyes on it. The thing behind you is dinner. <laughs> What is that thing? It was full and drag. It was full and drag. First time I ever caught something like that. We have no clue what this is or what this is right now, so we're gonna look it up and see. But little cool fish. Alrighty, guys. Little correction. Those fish we were calling olives are actually yellowtail. You can't keep olives out here in these this deep water rockfish so just to clear that up really quick for we're you not we're not used to this deep water rockfish so oh it's a slug oh dude that's actually really big no it's not i'm not capping come feel this it's bigger than a bluefin oh i swear it's an octopus or something oh it's literally big i swear it's big oh, i'm getting bit too <sighs> See this, guys? Check it. This is what happens when you forget you're extra tough. Crocs and socks, baby, in the bed. <sighs> oh, yep, get. Oh, bit. it's huge, Justin. I'm getting bit. Like no cap, it's really big. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, double up. <laughs> oh, double up on Lincoln. Triple. <sighs> How big's yours, Sean? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, he's a slug. Oh, he is a slug. He is a slug. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's big, dude. Oh, oh it's a good one, baby. It's a stud. Look at that. Slugger, baby. Oh. 
Unreal. I am a fat slob, dude. <laughs> Captain Redbeard needs to stick off the hostess. Holy <laughs> shit. Fueled by host. Mine's not a Lincoln. Uh, no, Picasso, Picasso. Look at that. Look at the mouth on these things, dude. Can you lip them like a bass? Yeah. <laughs> So that's the first Picasso I've ever caught. That's a interesting looking fish. Uh, uh yellow tail. Like yellow tail thing? Yep. Another yellow tail right, right there, you guys. That's number five. And again, we're just hitting the bottom and they're just pounding right now. Look at that stud. It's probably, what do you think? 24 inches? Absolutely. Look at the mouth slugged. on that thing. That's a cool fish. Yeah. Way to do it, dude. Are you on bottom of this? No, I got two muscle fibers. I'll go back down. Oh, no, it's another link. You gill shot at him. It's Ling Central out here. If you're going to come do this, drop down, catch some sand dabs before. Live, dead, freeze them. It's the best bait around, hands down. There we go. Oot it. Stud. Vermilion Vermil. stud. Or Vermil. yellow eye. What is it's it? It's a vermil. It's red, red. It's a vermil. Vermil. It's a vermil. Big ass vermil. I'm telling you boys, lay off the hostess if you're going to come do this. This is unreal. <laughs> Fat boy style. Something. Seven. Yeah, Link. Link pop. Right, you guys just got this vermilion right here. Biggest one I've ever caught. Just really beautiful fish. Not a giant link cod, big old belly on it. It's eating good down there, whatever he's eating. All those dabs we've been beating it. <laughs> that's a good double up right there. Yeah. Billy! I don't know what that is. Open up the book. What is that? It looks like a smallmouth. It kind of does. It does look like a smallmouth. So we started plugging away at the rockfish. We got a ton of green spotted rockfish, some vermilion. Devin was just plugging away at them with that electric reel. He was often getting double hookups. All four of us were cranking them in. It takes a little while from 300 feet. But right after we drifted off the reef there, we ended up catching a sand dab, and we put that thing to work. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, the way you know you drifted off the reef is when you catch a sand dab on your shrimp fly. So now we're going to drop down a live one once we get back on the reef and guaranteed link cod. Live sand dabs going down. Do you have bottom yet, Barb? Right there. Uh, no, it's still going. Unless something took off with my live Sandy. You're in. Yeah, that's a good one, Barb. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Can't get better than this, guys. Electric reel. Live sand dab, big lean cod. I think that this fish, I think this fish ate it on the drop and took off with it. That's kind of what it felt like. You know, Devin was talking about hostess earlier. I can't save a lot of hostess. <laughs> this thing's dogging me. Oh my goodness. This deep water stuff's no joke. Come on. Where are you at? If you ain't in the Pacific Ocean, where the f*** you at? <laughs> if you ain't in the Pacific Ocean, where the f*** you at? <laughs> 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 yeah. There's some color, right? We're 30. There it is. 60. Yeah, baby. That's a slug. That's a oh, hog. That's a, That's a hog. That's a hog. Look at that lane pod. 
Oh, look, that's a hard. He choked it. Look at his he, mouth. He choked it, dude. Look at his mouth. Look at that. It's probably close to what? I don't know. Forty inches? Thirty-five inches? Put your hand in there, dude. That's probably <laughs> no. Eighteen pounds. It'll take you out. That's a good link hard right there. Look at Sean. <laughs> oh, that might be a giant. Oh my god. Are you in, Devin? What you got, Devin? Oh, dude, you had the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> Look at this thing. So I just dropped down this jig, got this nice one. I don't know, it's probably 30 something inches. That's a good fish. It's a nice fish. Look at the teeth on these things. Look at the teeth on these things. Duking. <laughs> yeah, we're back on the rockfish now. <laughs> yeah. They're on that edge. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Drop down the electric grill. Yeah, I get it. I'm ready for the gap. You just gotta tell me when, partner. I can tell because it's still fighting. Because the raw fish would have been bellied up. What do you have on a jig? Yep, wind cod. Wind cod? No, no. Rockfish. big oh, ass rock fish. Oh, that's a good vermil. Oh, that's a good vermil. Look at that thing. There. Oh, oh Devin's got a ba baby ling. Got a nice vermilion. Big old vermilion. Does that feel better, Matt? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There he is, color. Oh, slug. 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 I knew it wasn't no. bit. Not that big. Really? That's a nice one, dude. It's weird when they're not all flared out like this. They don't look huge. Huh. They flare all out curled like... up. All right, you guys. I was struggling all day trying to catch a link cod, but you know, thanks to these boys, finally got hooked up. Biggest link cod I've ever caught. That's up a cock! Oh my god! Gab him! Gab him! Gab him! Gab him! Gab him! Gab him. Gab him. Look at that thing, dude! <laughs> Look at that <laughs> That's a giant Bacaccio, dude. Isn't it? Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a f another stuck. Oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> Giants. That's, those are stud Picachios. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. We ended up today with some giant Picachio. We caught some really, really nice link cod. Dustin caught a really good one on the jig, I believe. Picachio. Big Picachio. Yeah, jig. super big Picachio. Nice, nice link cod on the jig, too. Actually. Nice link cod came off the jig, but most of the big link cods were coming off of, like, the sand dab down on the trap rig. I think some of them are close to 20 pounds, but they're around like that 10 to 20 pound range. So it was a super fun day. At 5,000 subscribers, we will be taking three of you guys out, maybe out here to catch some big Picachio or some big Ling Cod or maybe some Black Cod. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. And next time, we're going to get the shark on this boat. Yes, sir. Didn't get it done today, we're going to get it done next Tax time. Tax man's going to pay his taxes. That's the knee is pulling on my coattail.